All right, we're going to play uh, the ranged DPS video now, guys. All right, let's do it. Quick announcement, I'm partnering with Gamersups. If you want to try out some tasty energy drink flavors, you can get some free samples free. and they ship worldwide. If you like it and want more, use the code JOKAT for 10% off. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit tired of being counted on to do complex tasks that involve more than it takes to eat a bowl of mushy cereal. In fact, I don't even feel motivated to hear what my allies need of me. I'm just going to sit all the way over here, enjoying my lucky charms. Alone. Classic and if things range. go wrong, I'll have to rely on the ever-reliable American method. I already see absolutely <laughs> no negative consequences. Welcome to a crap guide to Final Fantasy. You know what? I respect Red Mages because they also play in melee. You know? I'm sick of having to dodge so many up-close AoEs. The boss keeps doing them, and I have to keep moving away to avoid getting splatted. And then I have to resort to the equivalent of throwing marshmallows that will scratch the enemy about as hard as a massage therapist with germophobia. I'm trying... In some of those fights yesterday, I literally was sat there for periods of time where I was locked out and I was just like, eh. 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 with my spear, just fucking throwing them in one at a time. It was like, I could see it popping up like 102 damage. I was like, oh, wow, I'm really going hard right now. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of damage. Wait, why are you guys hoeing? Why are you guys concerned? Wait, what's going on? Why? Oh. Yeah, it's better than doing nothing, exactly. I did more damage, so it's still worth doing. It's just a sad reality, you know. <laughs> Clip it? <laughs> yeah, 102 is a higher number than zero. You are correct, and I agree with you. I'm going to do it. I'm still going to do it. It's just a sad, uh, it's the sad reality of moving out, right? Uh, real voice. No, that was my voice changer, guys. That was my voice changer. Trying to beat them into submission, not soften their tempers. Yeah, What's that I hear you say? There's an option to give me the ability to do max deeps even when I'm disconnected from the boss like an internet provider out in the country? Of course there Virgin. is. I was just getting to it and I'll thank you not to interrupt me again. The physical range DPS, or just range for short. Physically throwing my spleen into the splattering range of the near semi for long is the more mobile and forgiving cousin of the melee. And is the most important person in the party since you are the least likely to get a commission in the end. And we thank you for providing such a valiant service as there always needs to be someone in last place. You're is all about keeping your uptime <laughs> wait and all is that what your girlfriend hears every night you know what i think you're trying to bait me into making grunting sounds to try and say the opposite so i'm not gonna do that he did not deny it <laughs> though yes every other role is also about trying to do that you have absolutely no excuse for messing up the gimmick of the range dps is that you don't have to worry about any positionals or cast times and can run around the arena like an indecisive artist in hobby lobby you get to stay at a safe distance and if there's ever really a pissy try puddle underneath so. your feet moving out of the way won't risk you doing suboptimal damage so what's the catch nobody gets off scot-free in this game as all roles have their stonks and stinks tanks have stonks. the responsibility of dancing with the boss healers have to share gear models with the magic dps that have been dyed white and you will have to <laughs> suffer the nail pulling draw back known as the range tax. To balance for the fact that you have nearly no limitations on your mobility, your damage will be on average slightly less than both the melee and range magic tax. DPS jobs. And hell, sometimes even some tanks with their openers that'll put down bosses faster than PETA when they find- Get owned, range nerds astray. The range tax, although real, will make a tiny droplet of difference in the grand scheme of things, and if you pick a range job and feel as though you're being outdone by your peers, odds are you were probably doing badly anyway, and the reason you have trouble jumping over that hurdle is just because your toes were too big and floppy that you would have tripped over every single one uh. so badly anyway, Discovery Channel would decide to make a show about whether or not you're real. Let me summarize. If you do bad, it's a <laughs> skill issue. Nevertheless, the same rules as any rule applies in the fact that you should stay out of the piss puddles wherever possible. Even more so, considering you're wearing Heelys, and by all rights should be able to avoid any and every possible puddle and be the nicest smelling at the party which is important he's too real with it man hey he is spitting facts here he ain't said a word wrong so far okay skill issue if you do no damage as a range skill issue yep yep and you gotta smell nice too i said the floor tank dragoon okay okay dude you know what i have no good response to that i'm sorry because the healers only have so much nasal tolerance. Lucky for you, each range also has a bottle of perfume to spray that will at least mask the piss smell a bit. The final shared utility in the belt <laughs> of the Blat Man is the Limit Break, which although does not do as much single target damage as the melee, oh, has the, the benefit of one. being able to hit multiple targets in a line like a oh, really violent high five surfer. The range roster is a trio of performers, each one skilled in a different charismatic art, and each one a different flavor of slutty. First is the Bard, where your bow is your harp. Also, your harp is your harp, because with this job, you get a bunch of instruments <laughs> you can play, including oh, yes. these obnoxiously loud drums. You are one of the few jobs with the endangered species known as the damage over time skill, and your main attack involves firing a single arrow repeatedly until a bigger, cooler arrow gets jealous oh. and sometimes happens to be fired too. But not so, do you spam on ability until you get a proc? 
which basically lets you combo. Is that is that is that how it works? Okay, right. Yeah, because I heard there was some RNG with uh with Bard. Um, but I heard Dancer was even more RNG. Uh, I really want to try Dancer. When do I unlock that, actually? I really want to try Dancer, though, because apparently, like, it's super giga RNG, and it's obviously, like, buffing up. It, it, like, someone compared it to, like, Wind Fury in Classic WoW um, on Shaman, Shaman's 60. Okay, Dancer. Yeah, I think the ones I'm super hyped for right now, obviously, I'm playing my Dragoon. I'm super hyped for Reaper. Uh, I'm pretty, I'd say super hyped for Red Mage and Dancer. Kind of want to try Samurai, kind of want to try Monk. And then I'm pretty hyped for Sage also. That's, that looks pretty cool as well. They're like my like top of the list right now. But I'm going to try every job. Uh, oh yeah, Machinist also I'm really looking forward to. Machinist. Uh, when am I trying healing? Probably when I get Sage. I don't know if uh, either of the, any of the other healers really appeal to me too much. Right. Let's continue the video. All the time, because it's not like it likes to be shot or anything. You also have a bunch of songs to play that will make everyone in the party hear a remix of their opening theme. And everybody knows when the opening kicks on, you deal more damage. Because you're the one playing yep. them, you also get the your drop own special happens. benefits, you filthy, dirty performer, you. A song that sometimes <laughs> lets you shoot more arrows when it feels like giving you some. A song that makes you shoot faster. And a song that lets you shoot more arrows when it feels like giving you some. But a little bit different. All this arpeggio is a crescendo into a grand finale where you fire a big ol' arrow. And if you've played all your songs, you have the ability to face roll your piano and startle your party into doing Doing even more damage. I said hit harder. No, hold on to those notes <gasps> there, partner. <laughs> that was like a jump scare. For the machinist's oh. main attack, it uses a gun. Honestly, Bard sounds a little more interesting than I thought. I thought it was like a bit of a. <laughs> I have la la I'm lacking a better word here, but I was gonna say soy boy <laughs> job. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it actually looked kind of fun, like. You know, it's like got musical terms in it. You're buffing your party. It's a little bit RNG. You've got different kind of like stances or songs you can play and stuff. Yeah, it looks kind of cool, actually. I'm definitely a bit more up for giving it a go now, for sure. I wasn't on sub unfollow. <laughs> I just said seems like. I wasn't actually calling Bard Soy Boy. Calm, calm down. Calm down. All right. Assemble. Okay, assemble. Get back in here. Get back in here. Oi. Hey, you come back here. That door is closed and locked. You ain't leaving. Yeah, the fashion is popping on Bard, though. I will 100% agree. Dude, the weapons look fucking sick. The ultimate weapons look absolutely sick. The goddamn T-Bow. No, no scattering. Get back here. Get back here. The goddamn T-Bow looks insane. Uh, the ultimate skin. And uh, just some of the other, like, even just the random, like, I guess the relics and stuff look really sick as well. How dare you insult your fellow Gridania job brothers. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Grid gang. Grid gang, grid, grid gang, soy boy slander. <laughs> no, I'm not the soy boy. It's the bards. Okay, okay now I actually call them soy boys. Fuck. The most selfish of the range classes where the name of the game is... And the name Big is fat labeled deeps. on a box called Your Doom being shipped to the enemy at terminal velocity. What you sacrifice in oh, party buffs machine. you make up for in big... Having three giant bullets and a bunch of smaller, higher frequency bullets. Doing your normal one, two, three will get your gun very hot and bothered until it's Woo! riled up enough to rack the fire. <laughs> The timing. Oh, man. The people in the YouTube comments are not going to like that one, guys. Red hot goodness. And if you make sure to toss your special toy into the mix, it can end in an explosive finish. Keep up that oh. momentum and eventually you can even invite your queen to join in the fun. Hey, I hear she's got multiple frequency settings. Mm. All this might make you feel like you're not contributing as much, but no need to be nervous. Lucky for you, this job comes with extra protection. But you oh, baby. are not some simpleton who can be won over by some flashy lights and pretty songs. You want passion, passion. romance, a partner who can live up to your standards. Oh, dance, the dancer baby. foregoes buffing the entire party or focusing on doing its own damage and Let's instead go. picks one party member. One Bartas. extra special, extra spicy, extra sexy partner in crime to give us. Let me pause right there. Take it in, chat. Take it in. Damn. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should unpause. Uh, uh, these, the closer I inspect the pictures, the more sus they look. Yeah. Hold hold on, guys. Uh, uh, <laughs> cut that one out, Russ. Future Russ, cut, cut that one out. Super buff in damage in the form of two extra flashy minigames of Simon Says. And then you do a little bit of blending and sending the bodies flying. They're dying to birdies that give them birdies. And afterwards, it's just a matter of praying to RNG Jesus to bless your twinkle toes because from there, it's all coin flips all the time. Your rotation yes, is a one baby. And a two RNG flip upon into a RNG. Three and, a four. and both of those can coin flip into either a single target or AoE 5, which itself is a coin flip into a possible 6. And once you're in rhythm, your spit knees will kill them. Then dance in the wind like that Marion ribbons and kicking and flipping their 
Europeans and to your allies so they can annihilate all that's left. Yay, now they're dead. And now you know how to play ranged. You're welcome. <laughs> RNG upon RNG upon RNG upon RNG. It's all about those sixes, baby. All about them sixes, the big fat sixes. Let's give it a like. Here's the link for that one, guys, if you uh, want to go support Joe Cat. Boom. I love coin flips upon coin flips upon coin flips. <laughs>